right, here we go, guys. We're gonna try and get our hands in. Uh, here, I've got some butterflies that are rocking and rolling. Oop. There goes here, the skipper. Yeah. Okay, so what we do is we keep them in a, in a cord, not with ice, but just with a, a couple ice packs like this. So it just keeps them cool and we keep the lid down. So what happens is the butterflies don't flop around. They don't beat themselves up. But here we have a zebra long wing, guys. And what we're gonna do, we've got some sugar water and a little bit of apple juice. You don't need the apple juice. Most of the time it's sugar water. Um, and we're gonna just make sure that these guys are fed and that there's no problems with start. energy. Well, he was about to fly, so. Uh, when you handle a butterfly, you got to pick it up with both both uh, fingers, with both wings closed. A lot of times when the feet touch the sugar water, the proboscis will start going because their taste buds are actually on their feet. But at, sometimes they don't start. So can you see the, the curled proboscis there underneath the head? It's kind of yeah. curled up there. All right, so sometimes what you have to do is you take a pin. I don't have a pin. And you just put the pin inside of that little hole and help the proboscis down onto the sugar water. And all, almost always, as soon as it touches, boom, they start feeding. And he'll sit here for, this zebra will sit here for, I don't know, two or three minutes. And their proboscis acts like a little bit of a, some kind of, well, it's not like a straw. There's actually little um, components in there that will help the nectar or fluids go from the tip up to the head and then into the digestive system. So, but that's it guys, hand feeding a butterfly. It's pretty cool. There's absolutely no harm done to this butterfly whatsoever. And we're just getting him some carbohydrates. And as he hangs out in the cooler for uh, a couple hours, we're gonna get ready to do our little release and he, uh, Mr. Zebra and his buddies will go free. Check this out. As I'm uh, collecting, trying to catch some butterflies for my butterfly release, I've got uh, a pheromone, it's a seed pheromone lure taped. Oh, there's a polygamous. These guys. Huh. Wow. Never mind. Well, there was a seceded moth. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Where is he? Got him. Polydamus swallow. Oh yeah. That's a cool bug right there. Let's see. All right. Here we go, guys. Polydamus swallowtail, gold rim. Will make a great addition to the release. Nice local swallowtail. Might be a little, uh, might have to get this guy in the cooler quick because they're a little rambunctious. I'll put him in with my cloudless sulfur, statira, and atala. We have a nice little variety going for our release here. So we've got 13 butterflies, guys. We've got 13 butterflies for the release. That's gonna be good enough. Uh, I'm not a superstitious guy, as you can tell, but I'm gonna get these guys in a cooler. I don't have ice just a couple ice packs on the bottom and they're in containers. And what you'll do is you don't want them cold. You just want them cool and in dark. And if you're, if they're cool and in the dark, they're gonna chill and uh, they're not gonna beat themselves up. And well, there's a Gulf of Killery, but yeah, we're good guys. I'm gonna get going so we can get to our butterfly release and have a good time at the party.
Look at my butterflies eating. Yep. They're so cute. Sophie's butterflies are eating for the getting ready for their big day. Their big debut. Their big debut. Awesome. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Sophie's, what is that? Sophie's butter. Well, we have an Atala and we no, have. No, what are they eating? Sugar water. That's water. Right, so, um, sugar oh, there's water. a towel. Do you want me to do your eyebrows really quick? Because we gotta go. Your, um, We're leaving now? Uh, because we have 12 minutes to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is just a little bit of sugar and water. We let them go to town. We have our Statira female wanted nothing to do with it. Alright, here's my zebra eating, eating, eating. This guy had a little deformity in his wing. That's good. Zebras are pretty easy usually to hand feed. A lot of times they just, as soon as you put, put, touch them on sugar water, they just feed right away. This guy's giving me a little bit of a hard time, but uh, he's feeding away. That proboscis, it seems like once that proboscis touches the sugar water, it just goes into uh, automatic mode and starts sucking away. It looks like he doesn't want too, too much.